Welcome in Aaron Ekblad. Aaron, we talked about it after the first period. Kevin Stenlin pointed it out that maybe there were a couple of things that needed to be better going into the second period. You guys really turned it on in that second and third. What made the biggest difference in your mind? We've just been focusing on uh, moving everything fast uh, through the neutral zone fast. Pucks in deep when they need to get in and, and uh, all the cliche you know, simple hockey things that we do on a nightly basis that helps us get wins. You guys obviously as a team have been so good defensively this season. Another game where you guys find a way to lock it down defensively. What kind of support have you seen amongst both the blue liners and the forwards? Really the mentality of a team buy-in for defense. Yeah, playing together in all zones is uh, important for us. We don't want to get too stretched out, um, you know, where guys are getting left behind in the neutral zone while we're battling it in the D zone. So. Uh, five tight, um, we swarm, we play that man-on-man -man, um, system that, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that can do a lot of great things in the D zone and, and stay between the puck and the net. And uh, obviously Bob stands on his head every night, so it's, uh, it's fun to have him back there as well. Hey, Aaron Jovo here. I had touched more on the offensive side. We touched on before the game a little bit of the numbers of the back end, you know, down compared to last year. Was something, is something said to you guys? Because I, I noticed for, for yourself, um, you know, seven shots on net, and I know you're always looking to bring the offense, but the team is winning right now. So is anything said to you guys, you know, hey, listen, you know, put more shots to the net. we got to get a little bit more offense from the back end. No, nothing specifically like that. We're obviously always trying to move up top and get shots through, not get shots blocked. That's obviously a main thing. Um, yeah, we try to put a lot of pucks to the net. Yeah, our numbers might be down a little bit from last year. Like you said, we're winning. So, I mean, I'm kind of repeating everything you said, but uh, what's I the most you, important I thought thing? you had a shots on net bonus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I mean, yeah, listen, it's uh, it's tough. I think I've had probably 10 chances in the freaking slot this year that uh, just won't go in. But, uh, but yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Appreciate it. Yeah, they'll, they'll go in. <laughs> hey, another thing, I know you guys get all excited about, you know, the usual suspects that kind of woo you guys from the bench but how pumped do you guys get when you saw you know that last shift when Lomberg scored just the work ethic of Gadjevich and Stenlin kind of working yeah how pumped and you know feed off that oh we love it it's amazing I mean obviously in the playoffs that kind of grind shift is so important and uh you know fourth lines and, and third lines sometimes do some crazy stuff for you in the playoffs so it's great to see that tonight we learned something from that line and uh, you saw it coming for, you know, two, three shifts before that. They were incredible. So they had multiple shifts, and, and they finally got paid off. So it's so good to see a guy like that. Lamy's the best. Well, and Aaron, one thing that Paul Maurice has always preached, you know, even since day one when he got here, was wanting you guys to play a style of hockey in the regular season that's going to carry over to the playoffs. You know, obviously the way the team has been so defensive-minded this year, how close is the, the style of game that you guys are playing right now replicating what you do want to see in the playoffs yeah no it is i mean it's extremely difficult to do that for 82 games that's why you see sometimes you know we, we lay an egg and, and it's not it's not easy and it's not to, it's certainly not on purpose it's just extremely difficult to play that game for 82 and we do a really good job doing it sometimes we make mistakes but uh, at the end of the day you never see runaway games that are trading chances back and forth for the most part because of that tight ga <clears throat> tight game that we talked about uh, being the main focus so uh, you know, that's why every game's 2-1, 3-2, 4-3. It's, it's, it's always tight with us because, uh, you know, we have to play that style of game to win in the playoffs. Aaron, we appreciate the time. Thanks so much, and congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you. Yeah, obviously, you know, it was great for our line. I think uh, big boys have been doing majority of the polling all year, so to, to have some depth scoring for our team is, uh, you know, it's a great thing. Look, he's got the work that Cooley did on that play as well, keeping the puck in and then setting you up. Yeah, beautiful pass. You know, he, he, I was opening the slot, and he put it right on my tape, so uh, obviously a beautiful pass. A lot of reward for people. I mean, you guys, your line and Cooley going to get that puck along the back wall. Well, that was a, just a good goal for you guys. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Thank you. We, we've been working, um, you know, so obviously most important thing for, for us is the two points, but to be able to contribute like that is, it's, um, you know, it's great. I know you always play the same game, but it's, like you said, it's been a while. Um, 
just you just got to keep the faith that when the chance comes, you gotta you'll bury it. Or yeah, that's it. I mean, like I said, the most important thing for us is is that we're winning hockey games. So um, you know, I think if we're not scoring and we're not winning, then it's time to look in the mirror. But um, you know, we've we've been we've been doing a good job of winning games. Um, so obviously that that's the most important thing. And like I said again, it's obviously good to to contribute. Final 40 minutes of last game was the script got flipped. How how great how, did it feel for you guys to kind of flip it, even though you trailed at one point in the second? Yeah, it was good. You know, we, we um, have to learn how to play these tight games. We're going to be in a lot of them coming forward here, moving forward, excuse me, and then into the playoffs. So, um, you know, I thought we did a great job, um, you know, through majority of the game tonight with sticking with it, playing the right way, and um, we got two points. Big chunk of time going up against their top line, you guys like OV. Just what was it like being able to go up against her and do what you guys had to do against them? Yeah, it's, um, you know, obviously legendary score, so you got to kind of be aware when, when he's opening up for a one-timer. But, but other than that, we just go out and play. Obviously, no surprise, but another big game from Bob. But how big did that, that penalty shot? Yeah, it was great. I mean, like you said, no surprise, right? So that's kind of uh, that was the vibe on the bench when when the the guy picked up the puck and was going on the ice. I don't know if a single one of us was was overly worried. So you know, we've seen him do it all year, every day in practice. He's a tremendously hard worker. So um, it's it was great. Yeah, huge goal. There, it was coming for that line. They were playing amazing for us tonight, and. Um, that was very timely of them, and they've been working so hard and have gotten so many chances, and you know it was going to go in sooner rather than later, and I'm just so happy that they, that they could get rewarded because they do so much that uh, maybe doesn't come on the score sheet that is so important for our team, so very happy for him. For, this, for the team, it seemed like in the second period, you guys kind of found something, maybe a, a rhythm out there. Just, did you feel a little change there, a shift there in the middle, middle frame? I, I thought that whole period was good other than my turnover that resulted in a goal. So um, other than that, it was a pretty perfect period, and um, we were able to get a response uh, right before the intermission with a big power play goal um, after the power play wasn't very good all night. So, um, you know, I, th I thought that the way we played in the second period and in the third has got to be a staple for us, and we've done it for – big chunks of the season we got away from it the last uh, little bit at home and yeah felt good to get back to it and obviously Lombo gets to go over the fourth line all night they're banging bodies out there for a lot of yeah what does it do for you guys when you guys see that on the bench yeah I mean we we trust them you know in in key situations end the game you know tie game whatever we knew they were going to go out there and they're playing against you know Ovechkin's line for you know chunks of the third and they just did such an unbelievable job and, and for them to get that goal there is such a bonus but it's it's like all their hard work paying off and like I said like some of the stuff they do you know in the locker room on the ice doesn't come up on the score sheet but they're so important for us another big effort from Bob just what can you say about he did tonight and just what he's been doing this year yeah I mean penalty shot a um, few key chances that they had and, and he's just been a brick wall for us and just so calm and just gives us so much confidence and he's been uh, unreal all year for us and did it again tonight and another power play goal for Sam this <laughs> one from the, from the point usually it's a Behind the yeah, yeah. I mean, I just saw him by himself, and when he's by himself, just try to find the stick. Well, all of them that had such a strong impact in the game. Probably that was the line. his leadership in a lot of different ways. But sometimes the, the that line led in terms of style of play. Right, their forecheck was really good and heavy, but. Uh, they didn't cheat for it. They didn't get in behind the puck. They they didn't give up anything to be as aggressive as they were on the forecheck. And that's a game that I don't think we've played per really in a while. We, we haven't, I think in, in January, I don't think we had the legs to get on that forecheck. But tonight we did, and I thought that line drove the bus on it. What was the turning point in those final 40 minutes to take control of the game? Well, I thought we moved a little bit better. I, I didn't mind the first period. Like, if they win that game, they're five points out of a playoff spot. So, and they're they're an older team. They have a more veteran age-wise team than we do. So they're going to come in and play as hard as they possibly can. I liked our pace. I mean, we're down one. Um, you know, the first power play we didn't love. We hit one post on it, but I, I was I was fine with it. Like we we I don't know. I think we're I think we're about thirteen three and two. Right in, in our last eight games, so you come to the rink, last eighteen games, so you come to the rink feeling that you should have a pretty good chance to win every night, and you should. But yeah, I mean, we're certainly not that good that we would ever dominate a team that's fighting for its playoff lights because they came in and they played hard. So I was good with it. The second period, we got on our four-check game, and and when we do that, and then couldn't get our fourth line out as much as we'd like to early because of the number of power plays. There's eight minutes of that in the first. And then once they got their kind of teeth into the game, we, we all, it, it, 
change the flow. What we weren't good at in the Philadelphia game is we lost the, the flow of the play. We were in our end more. We had nothing sustained in there. And so every time the puck came out of our end, we're looking to change. And they scored a goal on that exact setup. The opposite was true here tonight. We were able to get the flow of the play, control some pucks in the offensive zone, whether you scored or not, forecheck, and then the line changes happened in your favor. Does it feel nice just to get kind of get like you were saying, yeah, get back to normal? It looked, it looked like it, right? Because you, you know, this league is tough. So you, every time you lose a game, you're thinking, we can't let this go, right? We can't let it go. And it's more about style of play for us because we've earned the right. We got a bit of a cushion. We don't. We certainly don't want to rely on it, but we want to play our game, and and that and that is a hard game to play. So some nights it doesn't go for you. Um, you just want to be able to understand it. I, I like the second two periods because it was closer to the way we're supposed to look, whether we had scored. We had a whole bunch of chances that didn't go. But you're on the bench and, and you know, you get to the last 10 minutes of the third period, I'm fine. Like, I'm comfortable with our game. We're playing right, whether these pucks go or if they get they knuckle one in and they get lucky on one, I'm fine with our game. I mean, going back to the fourth line, you trusted them with some pretty heavy minutes against I did. the Ovechkin line. I did. What have they done to really shut, that, shut things down? Now? Uh... Gadjevich doesn't make technical mistakes. He's where he's supposed to be as hard as he can. Stenlin's, you know, first off the bench on penalty killing, so he's got to be able to do it. And Ryan can skate and head, and he's got some veteran experience. So there's there's no reason why they can't take some shifts against another line. Now, it's a big line, right? It's a heavy line with Wilson and Ovechkin there. So it's not... It's not it's not a pure speed line, so it's a it's it's a hard it's a hard grinding shift, and and they're built to play that style of game. So, and and there are stretches where they're they're the best line, they're, they're our most effective line. So they should go out. Sergey Serge said Sergey said he felt like he hadn't played in about a month, but with that high ice, was to see him kind of just slide right back into. Yeah, it was good for him, and that was a really tough game because he, he kind of lost his stick on the first one. I don't know if he got it back, and it knuckled on him on the first goal, and then. You know, you get a penalty shot, you get a backdoor. I mean, they had really one chance in the second period they scored on. It was a legitimate goal, and there's not a whole lot to do. So that's a veteran guy who knows how to mentally stay in those. And when you need a... What are you hoping to see from the top three lines that you switched around? With well, I think we've had really strong production from one line, right? The Bennett line's produced. Chucky's numbers are starting to get really, really good now. And then for Hagee, has been good. I feel that Sam Reinhardt's done a lot of damage on the power play. And then after that, there's not a lot of pucks going in. Sash is on a, on a bit of a ripper on the not scoring. So um, I was just trying to change the look of the offensive zone play. We, we were in there enough. Nick Cousins can do some tight turning and some small area plays. He's good at that. Um, it wasn't an up and down the ice game. It was a lot of offensive zone time. And then Verhege has a way of, of getting something out of a scrum and, and, and finding a corner. So I just, just to change those three, I liked what Lundell's line looked like when Rodriguez went there. So was, last year I would, I would have been a little bit quicker on it. I would move Verhege around very quickly. Uh, this year, I haven't done that as much, mostly because I've had a line that's been really hot. And when you need that balance, I mean, Sam Reinhardt's always there. Power play, even strength, almost 40 goals. And right, and then if he doesn't score for four games, it's going to be very well played defensively. He's not going to cheat for it. So Barkov's line becomes then a checking line. And at some point, Lusterina may go up there. And if that's, if that's what we need from him on, an, on that night, because um, neither one of those guys cheat the game. When was the last time Reinhardt went four games without scoring? <laughs> oh, I don't know, oh, but I, I, you know, I shouldn't have said it. Possibly, <laughs> I really don't care about that. I think I think he's had such a wonderful start. He's put himself in a great position for the for the off ice parts, and he never cares about that. So, he's just been a great player for us. Whether he scores or not, he's on, and he's earned everything that he's gotten this year. He's it, those, they're all legitimate goals. I don't think he's been lucky at all. Um, so, I'm not particularly, he, he doesn't have to stay hot for our team to win. He just has to keep playing the way he's playing. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.